Dr. Susan Love and I'm Chief Visionary Officer of the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation. Our mission is a future without breast cancer and we do that through innovative research into the cause and prevention of the disease. Inpatient Science is a series of videos that we've made to help you understand your diagnosis and the treatment choices that you have. After decades of research and study, it has become clear that breast cancer is not just one disease. When you try to describe breast cancer, it is similar to describing a flower garden. If you tell someone you grow flowers, that may be helpful, but it's not very informative. However, by telling someone that you grow daffodils and roses, you give them a much clearer picture of what your garden looks like. Similarly, your doctor will test for and describe the specific type of breast cancer you have, so you can have a clear picture of what your treatment options are. Some tumors are easier to treat than others. One type of tumor that significant treatment advances have been made in is called HER2 positive. HER2 is a short name for a protein called human epidermal growth factor receptor 2. It is also sometimes referred to as HER2 nu or ERB2. But don't be confused, they all mean the same thing. When breast cancer cells have a higher than normal amount of this protein, the cells grow and divide faster than normal. About one in five women with breast cancer has a HER2 positive tumor. We don't know why yet, but younger women are more likely than older women to have a HER2 positive tumor. If your biopsy shows invasive cancer, you will be tested to see if your tumor cells overexpress HER2 and are therefore HER2 positive. There are two ways to test for HER2, with most labs using the immunohistochemistry or IHC test first. If the results of the first test are inconclusive, your doctor will order a second test called fluorescence in situ hybridization, or FISH. If you have an IHC score of three or higher, or a FISH score greater than two, your tumor will be classified as HER2 positive. HER2 tumors used to be the most deadly, but we've made significant progress with the development of drugs which target these kinds of tumors. These drugs enhance the benefits of chemotherapy, making HER2 positive breast cancer very treatable today. If you have early stage HER2 positive breast cancer, you can be treated with trastuzumab. If you have metastatic HER2 positive breast cancer, you have some additional options, including pertuzumab, lapatinib, and trastuzumab emtansine, in addition to chemo. Knowing your tumor is HER2 positive will also help your doctor determine the best type of chemotherapy to use. Thank you. The good news is, this is an area of significant research with new drugs being tested in clinical trials all the time. Results from these trials are leading to new and more effective treatment options. We'll keep you posted as new developments emerge. Our mission at the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation is a future without breast cancer, and we do this through innovative research into the cause and prevention of the disease. You can join us at drsusanloveresearch.org to participate in our research or to help fund our research, because together, and it's gonna take all of us, we can be the generation that ends breast cancer.